Hello everyone and welcome to the first person shooter tutorial series. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to attach the weapon in our hands and start the game with it. For these tutorials I'm going to use Unreal Engine 5.0.3 but you can use any version you like. So open Unreal Engine and go to games and let's use the first person shooter template. Leave everything as it is. I'm going to name this FPS tutorials. Let's open the project. So open the content drawer. I'm going to open new folder. I'm going to call this underscore main. I'm putting underscore so the folder is going to be placed at the first. Now let's go to the first person blueprints and I'm going to get the first person character and click and drag onto the main and move here and also get a projectile now open up the first person character and now we have this setup here if you're using another version of Unreal Engine such as 5.3 we're going to see slightly different setup but that's okay. What we need to do is take this input action primary and drag it over here. So this is going to be used later on. Now let's go to the viewport and let's put the gun into our hands. Now open up the content drawer. Let's go to FP weapon, go to mesh, and we have the skeletal mesh of the gun over here. Now go to the components and click add and type skeletal. And it's going to be selected directly because we have selected over here. So I'm going to rename this gun underscore SK. So get the gun and click and drag on the first person mesh. Now the gun is going to be child of the hands. Now if you click on the gun, click these arrows here, these are the default values. So this is the root of our hands. What we need to do is to put this weapon into our hands here, where there is a grip. So go to the parent socket, and I can type here grip. So we have grip point. And it went directly to our hands. If you want to adjust the gun a little bit, you can go over here and lower the camera speed, maybe two, so you can move more slowly like this. So I will show you one trick, how we can slow down the animations. Actually, we're going to stop the animations of the hands. If you want to move the gun, sometimes you won't be able because there are animations. Uh, you cannot catch the gizmo sometimes. So select the arms. So this is the idle animation. Type over here, anims. And we have pause anims. If you pause the animation, you see the hands stop moving. If you unpause, they want to move again. So now I can adjust the gun a little bit. Maybe slightly forward. So let's reduce the snapping over here, maybe to one. So I can move a little bit like this. Okay, now when, when you play the game, you don't see the animation because we have to unpause the animation. So go back to the character. Select the hands and pause anims, uncheck. Now when we start the game, we have the animation working. Now let's go back to the player again. Now we want to spawn projectiles, so this is going to be covered in the next lesson. What we can do is go to add and type arrow. So you can name this 
spawn projectile and let's go to location so this is going to be location where we are going to spawn projectiles so click and drag this and attach to the gun and now if you go like this it's going to be weird rotation but we can fix this in a second now go to the parent socket and type muzzle and it's automatically fixed now to prevent the projectile to collide with the gun you can click and drag this arrow a bit forward okay so this is going to be the setup for the gun at the moment let's see if we're gonna shoot you cannot do anything but we're going to fix this in the next video thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one